One way to save money when booking your cruise is to choose a guaranteed cabin. But are they worth the risk? And are the risks greater now than they have been in the past? Ahoy travelers, it's Amy here to help you make your travel experience a success. If you are new to cruising, you may not even know what a guaranteed cabin is. When you go to book a cabin on most cruise lines, you are given the option to let the cruise line choose a cabin for you or pay more to choose your own cabin. It's called a guaranteed cabin because you're guaranteed to get a cabin in the category you booked. As an example, if we look at a cruise on the Carnival Celebration in May of 2025, we see that a guaranteed interior cabin starts at $1,652 per person, while choosing your own cabin begins at $1,672. It doesn't seem like a big difference. Neither one is going to be your final cost as taxes, port fees, and gratuities have yet to be added. But if you decide to choose your own cabin, you're going to find that some locations cost more than others as they are considered more desirable locations. As you can see, if you choose a room on deck 16, which is the Lido deck and the hub of so much action on a ship, especially a carnival ship, you're going to pay an additional $110 per person for cabin on that deck. If you let the cruise line choose for you, you won't know where your cabin is until close to sailing as the cruise line waits until people have paid that extra amount to choose their cabin locations. Then they dole out what remains to those who booked a guaranteed cabin. There is a chance that if you book an interior and they are super popular on your cruise, the line may want to bump you to an available balcony so they can open up another interior to be sold. It's rare, but it happens. So you can see how choosing a guaranteed cabin is a gamble that may pay off if you find yourself in a better category of cabin, or you may find yourself under the club with music thumping at 2 a.m. in the morning because people who were willing to pay extra to choose their cabin location avoided that section of the ship. Oh my God. Personally, I have never chosen a guaranteed cabin and would not do so. Location is important to me and I like making sure I'm surrounded by cabins on all sides and away from public areas. So my cabin has a greater chance to be quiet, especially at night. The money saved and the slight chance of an upgrade, which may still put you under the, that club, you're just now in a balcony under the club, is not worth it for me. Now, have you ever booked a guaranteed cabin and found yourself wishing you didn't due to the location of your cabin? So beyond the regular risk of finding yourself in a location that no one else wanted, is there any other reason why you shouldn't save yourself a few bucks? Maybe you sleep like the dead and noise isn't an issue for you. What other risks are you looking at? Well, before I divulge what I think is the biggest risk, if you're finding value in this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Did you know that hitting that subscribe button doesn't cost you a thing, but it really helps our channel out and it lets YouTube know that you like our content. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos drop so you don't miss any future posts. While seasoned cruisers are well aware of the risks of booking a guaranteed cabin, there is yet another risk that seems to be more and more likely. Last year, we saw several lines overbook cruises. While there was a lot of blaming this as a mistake made by computer software, I'm skeptical. We all know airlines do this on a regular basis. And while getting bumped from your flight can cause problems, usually you can still get to where you were headed with a slight delay. The same cannot be said when cruise lines overbook their ship. You're just out of vacation. Of course, lines want every cabin booked. Any cabin left empty is money lost. One tip for finding a cheap cruise that you often hear is to book last minute, if that's something that you can do and fit into your schedule. Now, why is that? It's because some people never make that final payment. They put down a deposit 
And then when the final payment comes 60 to 90 days before the cruise, they just don't pay it. Now the line is scrambling to fill those cabins and will sometimes offer them at a discount to do so. Some money, better than no money. But what if cruise lines overbooked based on the percentage of defaults they've had in the past? As long as they do it through guaranteed cabins, how would anyone know? They're not booking the same cabin twice. They're just booking the same cabin type. So no one's going to know unless not enough people decide to default on that final payment. Now the line needs to try to convince people to go with another ship or date as there just aren't enough cabins available on that original sailing. When not enough people choose to take the offer, whatever it is the line is doling out, could be onboard credit, future cruise credit, anything like that, those that booked a guaranteed cabin don't have that dedicated cabin. They don't know my cabin is 16,225. I have a suspicion that those guaranteed cabins will be the first to be forcibly bumped off the cruise. If the line still has too many rooms booked, it's those guaranteed cabins that were most likely overbooked in the first place, in my opinion. Now, while we haven't seen this in a while, last year we saw this happen multiple times, especially with Royal Caribbean, as they oversold cruises on both the Wonder of the Seas and the Allure of the Seas early last summer, when according to the line, they were oversold in certain stateroom categories. That's part of why I think that it's the guaranteed cabins that are getting oversold. So will we see this happen again as popular summer bookings pass those final payment dates? They're coming up. Well, cruising is more popular than ever with line seeing bookings sell out even more than they did before the shutdown. Costs are up and not just because of inflation, but due to supply and demand. If you can sell out a ship six months in advance, then you're not charging enough. If lines do decide to covertly overbook based on past final payment defaults, will we see this happen again? I have a feeling we will, and I, for one, want to make sure I don't just have a guaranteed cabin category, but I know exactly which cabin has my name on it. While I never saw anything that came out proving that cruisers forced to change their cruises all had guaranteed cabins, it does seem likely to me. And that doesn't sound very much like a guarantee. What do you think? Do you believe the story that software glitches caused the overbooking on cruises last year? Will you still gamble on that guaranteed cabin? Well, are you ready for more information on cruising? Why not stick around and check out this video and then come back for more information designed to help you have an amazing cruise. Have a blessed week, everyone.